I'm really happy with how everything turned out this year and I'm excited to show it all to you. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start right here with my gallery wall in my living room. This is really one of my favorite spots in my house. It doesn't have a ton of fall decorations added in. This spot here usually has a wreath in it that goes with each season, so I just swapped it out for a fall wreath. I did really quick want to show you this piece here. This is one of my favorite printables that I found. I did um, save the website for you, and I will link that down in the description. And then last but not least, this is a new piece that I just finished up today. I used the antlers from my Walmart haul, and I added some floral around them, mounted them inside of a frame, and I am just in love with how it turned out. If this piece is something that you are interested in seeing how to DIY it, I do plan on doing something like that for the Christmas season, but if you want to see how it's done for fall, please just let me know in the comments. If I get 10 people who are interested in seeing how it's done, then I will post that video for you. I did record while I was making it, but I thought we were getting a little bit past the fall DIY season. kids in my home a lot of my decorations have to be up and off of the ground off of any low surfaces otherwise they will get into them and nothing will stay decorated around here that way so the piano is one of my favorite places to decorate because it is off the ground I'll show you real quick this piece I used a cotton stem piece, a eucalyptus piece, and then I used one of the pumpkin stems that I found from the Dollar Tree. I also used a branch from outside, and I love the way that it turns out. It looks so much like fall. I got these springs from a antique store, and I added uh, the pumpkins, stuck them on top, so one is a little bit taller than the other. For the garland piece along the front, I got a piece of garland from Dollar Tree, and then I added in some more leaves, some pumpkins, some of the beaded pieces, added all of that in to make it look a little bit fuller. And then this is a art piece that I found at the Dollar Tree. It does have a wood grain look, and I feel like it goes very well with fall with its phrase that it has on there. And then one of my favorite pumpkins from Dollar Tree. And if you see any pieces in my home that you are interested in, whether a DIY, you're just wondering where I got them from, just let me know down in the comments. I will be happy to share that with you. are one of my favorite places to decorate in my home. They're floating shelves made of barn boards and I just really love how they look and how they turned out. Here I used a piece of log to put a pumpkin on. This garland that you see across the front is another garland from Dollar Tree. I folded it over and then I added in some of the white pumpkins from Dollar Tree, some little beaded parts, just to make it look fuller, some extra leaves. The sign there, Gather Together, that's from Dollar Tree. And then in the jar there, there's some smaller eucalyptus stems, some of the white beaded stems from Dollar Tree, and then the pomegranate stems. And then on the lower shelf here, here I have a giant pine cone that my husband and I got on a trip to California from the sequoia trees. 
The piece of art there is a free printable. I will link that in the description for you. And if you are interested in seeing some free printables, follow me on Pinterest and I'm always posting new things for each season. There's my Buffalo Check pumpkin that I did a DIY on. I will link that for you up in the right hand corner. And then the small suede gray pumpkin that is from Target. It was a dollar and I was so stinking surprised that it was only a dollar. I couldn't believe it when I found it. I'll just really quickly show you this corner here in my kitchen. I don't have a ton of decorations in my kitchen. Here is the wood and metal thankful sign that I did a DIY on. I will link that for you up in the right hand corner if you're interested. Here on the white cake stand, I got this cake stand from Target in the dollar spot. It was actually 50% off about a month ago. And then on the cake stand I added some floral and some pumpkins. One of them is spray painted and then the other is from Dollar Tree. In the jar, I used some of those small pumpkins off of the tall stems from Dollar Tree. I used the stems with the leaves on them for my wreath DIY, and then I saved the pumpkins, I spray painted them, and then stuck them in this jar with some fairy lights, also from Dollar Tree. And I just love the way that it looks all lit up when it's dark out. Last but not least, I have this corner of my kitchen with a little bit of a gallery wall going on here. This give thanks sign with the pumpkin is another free printable. I will link that for you down in the description as well. I put it in a shadow box along with some floral. This letter board sign is one of my favorite pieces of decor. I love how the phrases can just be changed out with each season or birthdays or whatever. I love that I can change it out. The thankful gold lettering there is from a clearance pack from Target. There's another pine cone that I put up on a candle holder. That's also a pine cone from our California trip. And it's super heavy and super spiky. Some pumpkins, another one of those favorites from Dollar Tree, and then another suede pumpkin. This one is kind of a pale green color. It's a little hard to see the color here. And then in this jar here, this jar is from Dollar Tree, I put some reindeer moss and a little electric tea light candle. I made a small buffalo check pumpkin and then this pumpkin, stacked pumpkin topiary. I've seen it called a few different things, so we'll just call it both. I put that also up on a candle holder and this is another DIY of mine and I will link that for you up in the right hand corner. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. Next week I will be sharing a decorate with me of my porch area and I'm excited to share that with you. Thank you again for watching and you have a really great day.